All right, heavy rain. Uh, let me pick a chapter to go in. I'm going to pick a nice one. The sleazy place. Let's, do you want to save your progress? I don't want to save it. I'm just going to go in. Now, heavy rain on the PC. You get these fantastic loading screens as you go in of the character. But, oops, it's on my SSD. It's on my SSD, so whoops. Too fast. Now, I'm on mouse and keyboard here, and you can see that I've got to press um, left click and left to open the door. Now, it's highly cinematic. It feels like an interactive movie, but there's branching storylines and danger in some of the scenes where some of the characters that um, can get killed. So you want to try and keep everybody safe. Now I'm pressing down on the keyboard here. And um, let's ask about Lauren Winter. Lauren Winter. Ring any bells? Nope. Can't say it does. Now I'm right clicking here to talk his inner thought. So let's think about the lead. Been looking for weeks. Hope I hit pay dirt this time. Guess I better take the stairs. But I think I'm going to go in my pocket. So it's left mouse, right, and down. There we go. Oh, that Lauren Winter. Third floor, last door on the left at the end of the corridor. Now, the game is absolutely fantastic. This guy's the private eye. You'll also be playing a journalist. I'm going to show her next. An FBI detective and one of the suspects. So... This guy kind of always gets into trouble. <laughs> it's fun to play and you get to see how the mouse works here. Lauren Winter. Sorry, I only see clients by appointment. That was a time I had to do that quick. It's 50 bucks. I don't kiss and I don't do any weird shit. Fine by me. Now, the game is adult in its nature, and I'm actually going to be showing you some of the uh, sexiest scenes in the game, just because they are a good example of not really spoiling Put the game. Put your on the table. you got exactly 10 minutes when the alarm rings. It's over, okay? Now, this is not really a big spoiler at all, and the other one won't be a spoiler. In fact, the other one I show you of the journalist won't even happen if you end up getting her... Compromised, I'll say that bit. You should take your clothes off. We ain't got all day. Uh, Actually, I'm not a customer. Oh, shit, a cop. I should have known. What do you want? A freebie? Is that it? My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. Mm -hmm. The families of the victims of the origami killer asked me to investigate the murders. I came here just to ask you some questions about Johnny. I already told the police all I know and I have nothing to add. Leave me alone. Now, in certain situations, you are timed of what you are doing. And if you don't do it in time, it's going to are pick an dead? answer. I have nothing to say to you. Get out of here. Mm, I'm going to try and uh, be convincing. The killer is walking around free as we speak. He'll kill again if he's not arrested. Hey, Johnny's dead, so what difference does it make? Persist. There'll be other victims if we don't stop the killer. You have got to help me, Lauren. You may know something that can aid the investigation. Help you? There's nothing you can do! My son's dead, do you hear me? He's dead! I'll trick her. If we don't find the killer, there'll be other mothers who find their son's body on a deserted wasteland. But, but, but you're right. Why should you care? It's not your problem anymore, right? Now, there has been a, a lot of deaths going on in the city. All young boys. And they're getting drowned by rain. Want to know? By rainwater. This is the, what the case you're on is. Hmm. 
Did Johnny live with you? Yes. Of course, I made sure he never met any of my clients. I've never seen this before. You. She threw me out last time I came in, so... Get the money. Replayability! I to earn enough to get us out of here. You might want to go back to a scene to fix what happens, though. How did your son disappear? He used to go play with the neighborhood kids after school. It was pouring down something awful that day. I'll never forget it. Now the acting throughout is fantastic. All his friends came home around five. I like the mocap. The music is really good. You want one? No thanks, I quit. That's brave. Oh, this is new. This is new for me. And in some regards, it'd be nice to, if you go for a second time, I'd pull up a walkthrough. There's a good wiki and you can find um, all the different paths you it? can no take. Questions? I'm going to sit down on the bed. The, oh, no, he's holding the whatnot. Time is money, Mr. Shelby. If you have no more questions, scram. Do you know if they found anything on the wasteland? Any leads or witnesses? No. He said he must have run away and he'd probably end up coming back. His body was found five days later with an origami figure in his hand and an orchid on his chest. Yeah, there's, there's kind of high drama. Let's see if I can just walk out of here because I don't want to have another conversation. Yeah. Time's up, Mr. Shelby. I hope you got what you wanted. Now get out of here. So there you go. Like, you can pull away if you don't want this and just do what I'm doing now. I'm quickly getting out of it because there's a scene coming up where I'm going to have to be quick with my QTEs. What's, what does he want to do with his pocket here? Well, if you remember anything, oh, the yeah. smallest detail. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Give me a call. Now, it can be a little bit janky when <laughs> you're walking into the camera. Especially when it changes camera. I wish it was a bit more like Resident Evil where you could rotate the character around. And you can press control to get different um, camera angles. Uh oh, cutie time! Cutie, cutie. Lauren. Lauren. Now, there's going to be a bit of a fight going on in a minute. And if I get hit, this guy's beautiful face will start, will bruise and will last there till the end of the story. So if you make this clean, he's going to have this clean look throughout. And you'll see the mouse and keyboard. Now, when you start the game, you will be asked, do you play games? And if you say yes, it's going to be at the speed you see now. If you want an easier, I just want to get through the story. Say you don't really play games and you'll have more time on these QTEs. What do you want, asshole? Lauren, is everything all right? She's just swell. Now beat it, loser! Here we go! Get ready! You again? If you're looking for trouble, you found it. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Oh! Oh, crap! Ah! The mouse ones are so difficult. Get to the keyboard, easy peasy. The mouse ones are kind of hit and miss. Oh. 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 
And that's what I mean, the precision of the mouse is not all there. Oh, no. I got that one. I got that one. Oh crap! Asshole. Right, I lost. <laughs> all right? I didn't get all of them then, and especially the mouse Better ones. Him, I guess. Really annoying. Who is he? An ex-client who thinks he owns me. He was getting violent, and I told him I didn't want to see him anymore. Oh, you should be careful. He'll probably be back. Sorry now, about the mess. If you get them all perfect, Mr. Shelby, something else might happen. Yeah. I don't know what though. Thanks. But, um, I know his face will be much cleaner, probably. And it's those mice ones that are, like, the trickiest ones to get. Now, if you're playing controller, you might have different things here. But when I played Fahrenheit, or the uh, US version, you might play something else. Now, as you can see, these great looks of the loading screens. This is actually the FBI cop, but I'm actually, as soon as it comes in, I'll go to a different scene. I, this is going to be story. That's going to be story stuff that I don't want to spoil. Now, let's go to the other lady, because it will show you more examples of what you need to do in the thing, regards to gameplay. There's lots of replayable things you need to do. It's absolutely massive, but if you hunker down and get through the story, it'll probably take two days, but it's a really good two days. You really enjoy it from start to finish. Now here she is. She's a great character. I love playing this lady. And it almost reminded me of playing um, a Femme Shepherd in Mass Effect. Oh yeah. A bit noisy in the nightclub. Oh my goodness. Right, you can see a bit noisier in here, nightclub, and I'm walking over to the bar. And I'm going to ask the barman about a guy that I want to be, I'm looking for. Too many people, change the camera angle for me please, there we go. All the scenes it takes you to are fantastic. The murder case you're on is really good as each of the characters are following different leads. And if I can just get to the bar. Now you've seen the um, an action scene where you've got to hit certain sections. If you change the keys, which I obviously did because you saw EDSF, it actually updates it on the screen for you. So, I mean, when it first came on and it was WSAD, I'm like, Ooh! I had like this allergic reaction and had to go and change them immediately. But thank God it changed all the ones on the screen. Here we go, next bit. Not 
right. Now you'll you'll see this girl dancing here. She's a fairly good dancer. You can see Paco. He's gonna picture in picture happening here. The girl is gonna pick because of her hot dancing. So I'm gonna be heading off to the ladies. As soon as I learn what's going to happen. So there. Okay. Paco seems to like his girl sexy. Sexy in a kind of dumb way. Come on, get to the mirror! Now here it's going to be slow movements of the mouse. Time to play the sexy girl. Okay, mess her up. That means hammer that bloody key. <laughs> okay. Now these really gentle ones in the game are like... Oh, they're so teasing, and sometimes you're going through like an obstacle course, and these are the hardest ones. So let's go in the makeup. Uh, this means do it slow. Oh, it's so hard. Uh, I got it. <laughs> now I've got a high DPI mouse, and I've got to move this like a millimeter slow because if if I just sneezed it would balls this up there we go <gasps> oh. now this is actually quite fun though here because it's like less stress and you get to see a little bit on of the graphics here on the PC turned up to max now this is a GTX 980, seven year old gra graphics card oh, balls. Uh, GTX 980, seven year old graphics card holding up well. And um, as I'm waiting to get a new card, anything else in the makeup bag? Oh yeah, gum. <laughs> No, she's going to try and make herself look sexy, so she needs to get rid of this business suit. Okay, let's just rip it around. Now, this character has some super dangerous missions. You want to make sure you're on your toes to keep her alive. So you get to do these fun scenes, because... Hang on a second, we are not finished, are we? There we go. How does that look? No! <laughs> Alright. Now, there's certainly no nudity in the game. In fact, this scene is the most sexiest one, probably. Now there's going to be another action scene now of me dancing, so you do all sorts of interesting things in the game. Let's, let's strut the stuff. Here we go. S, D, E, F. Deep. Balls! That's wiggled the mouse up and down. S D A T. The hardest one it will throw in is a left shift. <laughs> At random, you get that one. Okay. 
It's a lucky day, sweetheart. The boss wants to bite you on his table. Now this guy's a sleaze. Hey, thanks for accepting my little invitation. You know around here, honey? I think I would have noticed you before. My name's Paco. Are you? Madison. I'm Madison. Ah. Well, you move, Marisa. You make me all hot under the collar. Maybe we can continue this conversation somewhere more private. Oh, cool, baby. Yeah, come with me. <laughs> now, again, many branching paths in the game. I'm only at this scene. It's like a bonus scene, actually, because I've kept her alive. Or I've kept her from getting compromised. Get out that bloody way, you dancers! Okay. I like the picture in pictures that you get. It adds stress to certain scenes as well. And Quantic Dream are known for the picture in picture stuff. Now, on PC, we don't normally get quick time games. Um, I know we're getting Uncharted 4 coming through, but um, they're actually a pleasure to do them. And uh, a bit like playing a piano. Now, you're going to see a bit of balls up here. Because when you sometimes transition between two screens, she sometimes turns around. It gets a little bit non-immersive. Let's just check her bag. I go in, I make him talk to the gun, and I get out of there before I get into big trouble. Everything's going to be all right. Everything is going to be all right. I like the character development. Like, I'm holding dip down there, and then, oh, I've got to press forward, and oh, it's a bit janky. So Welcome to my little kingdom. <laughs> now, whatever happens in this scene will affect another scene when another character comes here. So if you're not here, you're not going to see evidence of her being in this room. So, show me So it's a very clever system. I like the storyline, the branching storylines. I like the path that I took. I'm Okay. Kiss me. Yes. Could, could we just talk first? We don't need any more talking, baby. I'll talk now. This music's terrible. Show me what you can do. I'm sorry. Um, I, I think there's been a little misunderstanding. Look, uh, I I'll just go. No harm done. Another time. Uh oh. I think it is you who misunderstood. Madison, you're in trouble again. I've got to save your ass. Time. It's now or never. And I never take oh, never like for an answer. No, not the first time we've seen Madison in her underwear in this game. <laughs> I not say that much. The lamp. If only I could find some way to grab it. Oh, I know. A bit of dancing. Madison's a reporter, but she possibly could be a lap dancer. Here we go. That's what I call kicking butt. You go, girl. Now her striptease can go further than that. I'm just cutting it short, as okay. I don't want to spoil Act the two. surprise when you Let's get hear here. Lover boy, sing. Now here we go. Action scene with Madison. But, super fun, love the story, the characters are all great, I love everything that happens, surprising to find out the different paths that I, um, I didn't find, 
I don't think I'll go back and do them because I, I kind of felt that my story was my story, but I think your story will out. be unique. I'll kill you. Got it? Shit. What you want? What you, you want? Rent an apartment on Marble Street. I want to know why. An apartment? I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, I'm gonna get to it. Ugh. You fucking bitch! <laughs> I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> you haven't got the balls, lady. But you're gonna know balls when I gush up with you. Hmm, balls, did you say? Boss? Is everything alright? <laughs> Is a little bit stuck. If you value those prized balls of yours, Paco, then it's time for you to talk. No, this is going to get very painful. What you doing? That Stop wants it. you to hold Stop that it. key. I'm only getting started. How about some more? Uh-oh, this is a, a combo. I've got to hold all these keys down. He said he needed a place. He had money. Like, I let go there, so I've got to start it off again. <laughs> That apartment. I gave the keys to some guy. He said he needed a place. He had money. What was that guy's name? Oh, now the third combo. I, I don't know his name. I swear. Oh, ah. Ah. Shepard. His name is John Shepard. That's all I know. I swear it. Ugh. There, that wasn't so hard, was it? I really appreciated this romantic moment, but I got a dash. See you next time, lover boy. Now, Madison did fantastic then. Let's go back to the main menu. Of course, I want to continue, y'all. The game has like a lot of polish and you'll get extras as you go. In the bonus you get lots of art making of videos and the music and the, the real actors that they used. Original trailer, the prototypes they did, all this is really cool. Again, you might want to go in and do a chapter, but if you go in and do a chapter, it will change all of the future ones. You saw the scene that I just got to walk out. It's maybe 10 minutes long, and they all vary between 5 and 10 minutes long, I'd say. They're really good, though. There's over 40 of them. Different epilogues that you'll get as well, depending on who you saved and stuff. And what a journey it's on. And I highly recommend you check it out. It's so good. Can I turn it down? The music. Come on. <laughs> turn it all down. Got individual sliders here. That's actually pretty cool as... Um do whatever you want here but yeah go in the silence because it's very heavy theatrical music all the way through it what a f it's a great game heavy rain and it's so thankful it's come from pc from sony this is a first party from quantic dream and honestly you really owe it to yourself to play the game if you like um adventure games and story heavy games again i would um once you've finished the story, I would go to the wiki site. I'll put the link in the description below just to kind of show you all the different things that could have happened on your journey. It's fascinating to see all the different paths once you've finished it. And um, 
it, it is super cool. Now I am going to be checking out next the second game that came from the tri trilogy of these games, which is Beyond Two Souls. And after that, I'll do the final one that came over the protocol one, whatever it's called. That other one is the <laughs> third one. The robot one, the AI robots one, I'll do that last. But the video after this, I'm actually playing it right now, is the Beyond Two Souls. But Heavy Rain is great. Why? Because one, you've got a fantastic case to be working on. There's a lot of thriller mystery going on and all the different characters you play from the PI to the detective to the FBI agent and the one of the suspects it's very very good I highly recommend you play it and I believe there's a there's a, a demo you can check it out where you can set up the keys and stuff and play it out but really you I think you sh you'll love coming in here and um, dancing around on the keyboard <laughs> as it were <laughs> But anyway, oh, if you've got a game controller, you might prefer that. But I, I kind of like the difficulty in the mouse because it adds that random difficulty in, like, you saw me, though, not hitting something, and I got bruised up because of it, and I just felt like, ah, he, he's not perfect, and he misses some. I just program that into the game, as it were, so all is good. It's not as difficult as Fahrenheit was, the original game from the company that was like playing the piano on the keyboard this one's a little bit easier and um, again if if you're not quick with reactions you can put the difficulty time down and it'll give you lots more time to do it so heavy rain absolutely phenomenal please 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 remember that you should be playing this peeps if you if you love it if you love this genre you absolutely need to play it it's fairly cheap as well and again you'll probably get two days out of it you can probably clock it in maybe 10 hours i'd, I'd want to say 10 hours i don't know i didn't time it but two days worth of heavy gaming is what i got out of heavy rain and um yeah let me know in your comments if you get the game what you think of it tell me what happened at the end of the story i'd love to know what who you saved and who made it at the end all that good stuff don't check the comments as it might have spoilers in it peeps <laughs> there is that and um, yeah please give the video a thumbs up please subscribe if you um, like the content and expect the next video beyond two souls to happen sometime next week well thank you so much for watching i've been your host lipstick patty you've been listening to pc gamer radio and thank you so much once again, you take care, stay safe, and bye-bye for now. Well, thanks for watching. And if you remember, you can please subscribe and like the video. And don't remember, you can also hit the bell for notices on the channel. Yeah, we've also got a Twitter you can see on our banner. So check that out too. So take care and bye-bye.